welcome to the Fab Science Virtual Lab. So my name's Emma from Fab Science and I'm going to show you how to make a mini hovercraft using a few simple things you've probably got at home. So all you need is an old CD or DVD. It must be an old one. This is going to get ruined so make sure, double check, nobody wants it back, okay? And um, you also need a balloon and uh, you need the lid off a fruit chute or any sort of uh, sports bottle that can pop up and close again and a lump of blue tack. Now, um, the reason that this will work is because we're going to try and reduce friction. So if I take my, uh, my CD and I put it on this uh, wooden block, you can see that when I do this, it pushes it along, but it doesn't really go very far. And what's stopping it going any quicker is friction. Now, if you rub your hands together like that, you'll feel your hands start to get a bit warm. And if you look closely at your hands, you'll see there's lots of little lines and ridges. And when you're rubbing your hands together, those little lines and ridges are getting caught on each other. And that's friction. Now, to have less friction, we could make the surface smoother. Now, even a really, really, really smooth surface will have some friction. Because even if you've got a smooth surface like glass, if you look at it under a microscope, you'd see it's still got some little lines and ridges. They're just so small that we can't see them. So we'd still have some friction. So to make our friction less, we can make this surface smoother. We can make this surface smoother. Both of those would make it move better. Or we could lubricate it. So that means we could add something else on the surface. So if we made the surface wet, if we put water on it, then it would be slippier, wouldn't it? But if you're trying to skim this across your floor, for example, you'd have to flood your whole floor with water, which I think would be a really bad idea. We could make it even slippier if we added oil. But again, we don't want oil all over the floor. And even on here, that's going to be really, really way too messy. But actually, uh, we can use something else which is much cleaner. Because all a lubricant does is it just lifts it up a little bit. So there's a gap in between them. So the two surfaces are not catching on each other. And if we put some air in between the CD and the surface, then that will stop some of that friction. Now, to do this, we need um, a piece of blue tack. So you're going to uh, warm up your blue tack a bit, just um, stretch it and stuff to make it uh, nice and sticky. And then you're going to roll it into a sausage. So roll it into a sausage. And then when you've got a nice sausage shape, you're going to bend it around uh, and make it into a donut. Okay, so we've now got a donut of blue tack, which you can stick on the bottom of your fruit shoot lid. So get that stuck on there like that, make sure there's no gaps, and make sure we've still got that hole through the middle, okay? Make sure you haven't blocked it all up. And then you can stick that onto the middle of your CD. Press it down really nice and hard, and again, just double check that we've still got a hole through the middle, that you haven't blocked up that hole, because that's where the air is going to go through. Now, if I push this now, we've still got lots of friction, it's not working well. But if we can blow some air through this hole, it will come out through here and spread out, and it will lift it up a bit. Not enough to make it fly up in the air, but just enough to lift it a tiny bit, so it moves slightly away from the surface, and it will skim much, much better. Now, I could just follow it around blowing through the hole, but that's a bit tricky. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a balloon to blow the air through the hole. So you need to take a balloon and we need to blow it up. And pump that balloon up. Nice and big, but not so big that it pops, please. So, uh, when you've blown your balloon up, do not tie a knot in the balloon, okay? So all you need to do now is just twist it around a couple of times like that so that the air can't escape. And then make sure that your fruit shoot lid is pressed down and then stretch that over it like that. And now if you let go and it uncurls, the air can't escape because um, that lid is closed. Now when I open up that lid, then the air can go down through the hole come out underneath the CD, and lift it a tiny bit from the surface, not so much you can see, but just enough to make that friction less so it will skim. So to do this, I'm just going to move this out of the way and uh, we can put it over here so that you can see it skimming. Are we ready? So when you're doing it, just hold it down, uh, open up the lid, and then it can skim around much, much better because we've reduced that friction. 
So this is a really, really simple thing that you can try out. So all you need, remember, is an old CD or DVD, fruit shoot lid, and a bit of blue tack that you're going to make into donuts and that balloon. So give that a go, maybe race it with somebody else, try and skim it across the floor, try and skim it across the table, try different surfaces and see how well it works. Have fun, see you soon, bye.